Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? We're in a slightly different setup today. Happy new moon, new moon in Gemini. <laughs> so I am going to, hello, hello, hello everybody. So we're gonna kind of go back to, my, we're gonna go back to sort of the, um, one of my original ideas for these live streams. Can everybody hear me okay? Can I get a thumbs up if you can hear me okay? Hi Martha, hi Lori, hi, hi Hope. CJ rather, hi everybody. Oh great, okay. <laughs> Excellent, wonderful. So thank you, thank you, everybody saying that the sound is okay, so that's good. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here. There's so many of you here already, which is really exciting. Hi, Tim. Hi, everybody. Happy new moon. Happy new moon in Gemini. Are any of you Gemini bidders? Or do you have any Gemini in your charts? I would love to, I would love to hear. So as I was saying, we're gonna do this uh, live stream a little bit, uh, kind of back to the, uh, the way that we were doing it before slightly, where we're gonna, we're gonna stick a little bit more to the ritual aspect here. Um, which means that there will be some uh, quiet moments, um, some moments where I'm going to be not um, looking so much at the at our live chats here together. Um, but I really want to support you and kind of us to all support each other here for inviting in new new habits new beginnings, fresh starts, really using, there's a lot of energy happening here with this particular new moon. And so I really want to kind of tap into the, uh, all of the different energies and kind of use it to, to the best kind of, uh, to the best of our ability, really take advantage of the energy that's happening. So with that said, we are going to start off with a little bit of a kind of singing bowl, not a sound bath, but just a little bit of um, playing around with the singing bowl just to arrive here. This is the sort of welcome greeting um, for us to arrive here with our beautiful singing bowl, which I have right here. So... This uh, is our F note singing bowl, it's the heart chakra singing bowl, and it's a crystal singing bowl. This is thanks to all of you, our previous new moon live stream, the super chats, and the uh, super uh, stickers, I think they're called were um, all dedicated towards this and we've done a sound bath with it already and I'm, I absolutely love it and I know you've been enjoying it too. So thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who participated in our previous, in our previous live stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm really excited about this and for this 
live stream, any super chats or any of that that uh, that we receive for this are going to go towards uh, another singing bowl so that we can start to have a collection for each of the chakras and really get into some really, some sound baths um, that are that are hopefully going to be really healing and relaxing. And if you wanted to kind of uh, cast your vote, I guess, for which bowl we'll, we'll do next, um, we will be, I was thinking either the crown chakra or the root. So just kind of, if you're open to it, just right in the, either in the comments if you're watching this after the fact or in the, if you're doing the live chat as we're, as we're here in real time, uh, then you can just either say root or crown or whichever chakra singing bowl you'd, you'd prefer and I'll, ta I'll tally those up and then we'll hopefully have that for, for next time, maybe, maybe soon. So, getting some votes for a root. <laughs> yeah. Okay, crown. Yeah. So I'll just tally those up after afterwards, and we'll. But thank you to everyone who's here. It's so amazing to connect with you, especially on such a. Yeah, like such an intense kind of energy today. Um, I wonder what, where you are all from. I love hearing that, and I also love uh, you know connecting with you in terms of what you're able to see things like this solar eclipse that we had or any of you in where is it, parts of Canada and Russia were you, any of you able to catch the this eclipse I'd love to hear and that's for you to share uh, so that said I am going, a lot of you are saying it's your first live stream, so I'm really glad that this time worked out. Hopefully the sound is going to be okay. All right, so let's take a few deep, rejuvenating breaths here together. I think it's, it's really nice to just remind ourselves of that beautiful, internal massage, that awakening that we can invite at any moment with our breath. So if you can and you're called to and you feel like you can kind of get a little bit more comfortable and we do some adjustments and arrive here with, with yourself and also with the openness that we can have as this um, beautiful collective that you've created here. Just try to invite some, some presence. So, thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you, thank you. That's very generous. So we're going to start, like I said, with the singing bowl. If no, uh, singing bowl, 432 words. Singing bowl. <sighs> Just do a ride.
you so much, Lori and Laura. Thank you. This was a so really, really generous. Donations for the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so nice. Oh, Love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, hopefully, you're feeling a little bit more relaxed. I am. I felt like waves of some of this beautiful energy in my from the same And I've had, and I use study rules in my practice for a long time. Even had a crystal surrender in my personal practice. And it's just been such a beautiful gift. And thank you. So, what I wanted to do now, like we've done in the past, is to start with just some kind of checking in, clearing. So I'm going to light a little bit of this stage and do a little bit of clearing. And I really invite you, if you're open to it, um, to, to, to join in and to uh, really be using stone in a little bit. Or maybe what crystal is. If you don't have any crystals, that's, that's totally fine. Maybe you have something significance to you because of jewelry something something from nature and if you don't have anything like that that's totally fine too. If you do have these things you know can be kind of a way to connect more deeply with each other. All of us in the room are kind of collectively writing our magic and writing us, collectively setting our intentions, collectively sending our gratitude. So when we participate in this way together, it can be, I found incredibly powerful and exciting. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Um, uh, beautiful. Late May and June days. How is the sound? Oh, okay. All right, no, it's not it's Sorry about that. Let me see what's going on here. Sorry about that. Let's see. No? No? Okay, it sounds okay for me. How's that coming in for you? Is it still sounding like an echoey feedback? Um, let's say if the sound is back to normal, let's do a thumbs up. Mm. Mercury retrograde. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's better now. Fuzzy echo. It's better with the headphones. Let's see. A little louder, but the same weird feedback echo. Yeah. Bear with me. Thanks for your patience. That is really like an ocean wave. Strange. It's so hard. Sounds 
That sounds like a horrible experience. Still like a wave? Is that still sounding like a wave to you? Or like ocean? I'm not getting that at all. Um, I'm not getting that at all. The slow mood which is on with them, the feedback for the live chat. But it shouldn't be on for the audio. Oh no. Hmm. Ooh, okay, let's see. Let's see these happen. Is that any better? Is that any better? No. So, is it ever here? Is it just like it's too close to your computer? Let's see. That's very precious. What's the sound? Okay. Hmm. Bear with me. Uh, if it does at any point start to get better with the mic, if you could do a thumbs up, that would be great. Then we can carry. Uh, and if it's if it's un, if it's not working, it's unbearable. We may have to just talk it out to make way retro grade. See each other next time. So I don't want to put you through my little sounds here. Okay. Thanks again for your for your patience here. Is that any better? Hello, hi, Kara. Hello, hello. All right, some of you are saying that the audio is not fixed, but not unbearable. So we're gonna keep it. Um, and if you know, I'm just very grateful for you being here, so thank you for your patience here. Yeah, this is the way it is with these things. So let's let's go on ahead and just try our best to have patience with our technology today. And so try try to try to move on and then sorry if it's uncomfortable and I understand if you can if you can't. Okay. So what we're gonna kind of do now um, is again if you're if you're sort of open to it and you know comfortable uh, with this, um do a little bit of clearing up. And here kind of sharing anything that you want to clear, you wanted to offer something up. Like. So I'm gonna write my uh, message now. The this is the general and think focus, presence of mind, patience and 
just a few things that I'm going to call now. For today, I'm moving through the rest of this lunar cycle. I think it can be important to kind of take a pause, stop, um, and do what we've been doing. Be evaluating and trying to reflect in a way that encourages us to. Um, do things in a more effective way. So, Gemini is our communication, our personality, and we just um, Mercury is retrograde at the moment. This can be felt very intensely right now. And Gonna start kind of moving through here. This, um, that glowing, kind of open, confident communication that fluidity, um, using a voice that, that Gemini energy that can sometimes that can be halted at this time, um, and doubt might start to creep in, and also how you are received and how your communication is received could be altered, which is well, not necessarily the best um, time to be dealing with the live stream. <laughs> okay. So, the solar eclipse as well, kind of, cut, you know, cutting out the sun. This energy can really help us to sort of really go inward, take some time to kind of close the curtains and just turn inward, do some reflection. Thank you, thank you everyone for being here. It's, it's so special to connect with you and we're moving through we're moving through some funky energy. So I think it's really good for us. Just realized that I'm in my camera and I to get out from my video and it is watching it. Then I forgot to put it back in. So I'm just wanting to kind of clear here. Like I said, this you know you can start to communicate in a way that can be really perceived through the lens of whoever's receiving it. So it's it's a, it's an important time to be very intentional about your words and to really take pause. So for those of you participating in the live chat and a uh, reminder. Okay, Jack said, Rocks to you said, Hey, Yum, if you go into your sound settings on your device, you can turn your treble up. That seems to help me a little with the vocal clarity. Thank you so much, Jack. Um, thank you. I hope that is helpful. And again, thank you for your patience. I want to. When I talk louder, you feel me better, and when I'm whispering, you talk me. I'm going to do my best. I hope that. It's okay. Nicole. So is there anything here that you wanted to just offer up to be cleared, anything that you're feeling like. You just want to kind of kind of move that, move that through. Um, 
feel free to either kind of energetically share that here or you can share it in the um, chat feed, um, however you feel um, most comfortable. And I'm just going to use this on my own to do a little bit of further clearing. Great, I'm gonna clear some anxiety and some insecurity. Yeah. Yeah. Physical pain. So we'll clear that here. So. Beautiful impatience. Yeah, I think that's a really um, a big one. You know, uh, for, yeah, and the energy I've been feeling that a lot. I mean, you know, definitely that impatience, it's, um, it, can, it can definitely be felt at this time. So, yeah, let's clear some of that impatience. A lot of anxiety, confusion, misdirection, overwhelm. Creative blocks, anxiety. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I'm struggling with these things. So, as we kind of offer up whatever is available to be cleared at this time, we'll go ahead. Sadness, calamities. Being misunderstood. That's really, that's really present here. I feel for so many of us, especially with what's happening in the cosmos. Loneliness. You know, Just kind of begin. I'll be honest and share that I'm feeling very bad about this audio. Um, but we're just going to have patience with ourselves, patience with technology, and, you know, patience with each other here. <laughs> so, calling us out. so, what I'd like to do now is to take a, a crystal if you have one. Um, here. And place it in your hands. And I want to kind of take a, a moment of stillness here together. So um, whatever stone that you're called to, I've been really um, digging this um, rose quartz, such a gentle, friendly stone, um, this particular one that is just feels so nice to me right now. So you have that when you're looking at the stone or tool, some kind of crystal or something, and you're just really vibing on it. So I've been like that with this rose quartz lately. Um, and what, what I'd like to do is just sort of place it in the, the palm of your hand, close it in the other, and just kind of sit with it for a moment if that's, if that's possible for you. Now just imagine the energy of the stone centering in through the palms of your hands and then swirling all around your body. And if you don't have a stone handy, then you can place your hands together, either clasped or in a prayer gesture. You could also do one hand over the heart and the other on your sacral, two to three fingers beneath the belly button. A very kind of comfortable gesture here. 
supportive, compassionate gesture. Whatever is available to you, I just want the energy that we're calling in here to be going inward, introspective. And so I just want to sit here together for a moment. Okay. And just imagine this energy swirling in and all around you. This can be a really nice way of raising your vibration, really arriving here in the, in the present moment. So if you've closed your eyes, you can open them now. And this could be a nice time to grab a journal or if you're choosing to write, which I think is a really nice way of bringing our new moon manifestations, our intentions, both for this lunar cycle, for this next um, month, for this uh, next six months, bringing all of this from the ether and bringing it into the earthly realm. And while you're grabbing those, I'm just going to try two more things here. Okay, let's see. All right. So now what I would like to, to do is kind of go through, and this is sort of a, a nice thing that I like to do um, on my own and just take a moment to reflect, check in with what I was writing um, in the previous moon, and also look at what you were clearing for the phone, see what work what hasn't maybe worked so well. Taking a moment just to kind of reflect here. And I think for this particular time, what we have going on astrologically, just a, something that feels very present is the necessity to take a pause, to just take a, take a moment. So just doing a little bit of perfecting some kombucha here. Mm -hmm. So 
So is there anything from our May new moon that you found really worked? Is there anything that you were manifesting that you've realized has really, really, really felt easier, more fluid? Anything that's come to fruition sometimes when you set those intentions, like I said, there for a longer period. But some other intentions that we set and seeds that we're planting, they germinate quickly. So thinking about perhaps anything that has felt like it's been a, been a blockage, maybe something that's felt really challenging. The this energy for Gemini, I feel like the things to that can be really helpful to reflect on are things like your interpersonal relationships, um, relationships with family, friends, your relationship with, with people online. Um, a couple of people that I follow that I really love for, for this kind of uh, work and also great reminders are Alina Alive. You should check her out. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with her. It's wonderful. Um, and um, Gregory Scott, I think it's his name. Um, those are both great, great people for this. And I feel like that's they are very supportive and great energy. Great energies as well. So, hi, Caitlin. Caitlin says, any advice for manifesting acceptance into an academic program? Yeah, I mean, I think with, with manifesting of any kind, there are a few really important steps that I like to take. Well, one is inviting in a sense of trust. Um, trusting the universe, trusting that uh, what's meant for you is on its way. And so if you can kind of provide a beacon of light, almost like putting a taxi cab light on from a New York City girl, uh, <laughs> um, that that can be really important. When you're manifesting and setting intention, I think it's really, it can be really helpful to kind of raise your vibration so that you're kind of, you almost see it as already being there. I think you can do that through using tools and stones. I think it's also can be really helpful to invite gratitude, which is something that we've been doing here on these live streams is to just invite gratitude for what we already have. That's an important thing. Another aspect that is really important is connecting with our why, the sense of purpose behind it, why we want this, um, why we want to go to this particular academic program, what is it about this program that feels um, like I'm really called to it, really tapping into that because sometimes the rigidity of our desires can sort of uh, prevent us from seeing all of the options. And there might be, you know, other options that, are, uh, that open new and exciting doors. So that there's a, kind of a releasing of the clenched fist, inviting a real openness and trust my friend says that, you know, when you hold the sand tightly in your hands, uh, 
you know, it comes out quicker. And if you kind of like release and open your hands, the sand that's in your hands can be blown by the wind and it can be taken away, but it will be replaced. There's wind coming and going, sort of part of that ebb and flow of life. So, yeah, that's, I think all of these from an energetic perspective can really help to kind of bolster you into a good, into a good frame of mind and energy to receive and gratitude. One of you said this in our last live stream, gratitude uh, can open you up to receive. Be very receptive. Energy. So that would be my general advice. And then more specifically picturing what it would, what's, what it's going to feel like. Really imagining the feeling that's something to connect with. I connect with visualizations as well. So visualizing what it's going to be like to receive that. And so if you kind of take all of these steps, I think it can be helpful and hopefully opening for you, Caitlin. And I'm, I'm sending you so much love and we'll definitely put that in as part of our manifesting for you to get into the program that you need to. So, seems like we've had a moment to reflect. Maybe we've had a chance to look through our notes and kind of what we were working through on the last new moon. And really just tapping into what we, you know, what we want. That can be so helpful. So. Some of the aspects that we might want to take a kind of closer look at here are um, communication, particularly as it, um, that particularly as it pertains to um, what's happening online, just because Gemini is an air sign, and this is kind of how we're communicating um, through the air. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, but think, you know, reflecting on career, reflecting on finances and health, and you don't have to do this right at this moment. But just a reminder that at some point today, taking some time to do some reflection can be really helpful. Journal, dream journal can be really helpful for that. And so through this, we can start to say, what do I want? What do you want? So that's it. This is the sort of the, the, we're kind of igniting this process just by starting to think about what you want. What do you want? And then if here's what you, what you want, let's say here's what you want, and you know, here's where I am. And how do I sort of bridge the gap between where I want to be and where I am? And that can be that can that can be a really powerful practice, even just sitting with it. Here's where I am, here's where I wanna be with love and self-compassion and, and, you know, <laughs> really being clear about not inviting shame into this space. But just saying, okay, here's where I wanna be and here's where I am. And then when we set our intention, this is when we can start to say, all right, let me break this down into the steps that I can take to get from where I am to where I want to be. No, don't throw your mind in the trash bin. So now this is a, you know, if we want to start really inviting in this, the practice of writing, taking this intangible and making it tangible. This can be really powerful. 
And as we look at where we are and we look at where we want to be, and sort of think about the steps, those like small steps that we can take to get there. This is a great time during this new moon, during this kind of quiet reflection to really use your imagination. Uh, think about the possibilities rather than the constraints. Think about what could happen. Um, if you can tap into in whatever way you're, you're optimistic side, that can be really helpful. So, you know, if you're all in the process of writing your intentions and connecting with that, I hope that you are. If you're supported in that, we're going to light our candle and set our intention together. Someone asked what my favorite crystal to use is. Mm, I'd say that's a tough one. It really depends on, it really depends on what I would be using it for. So, like I said, at the moment, I'm really, I've gone back to my rose quartz polish rose quartz and it's felt really supportive right now. I traveled recently. I know a lot of you didn't see my uh, traveling altar video <laughs> um, that I published last night, but I was traveling recently and it was a very intense experience. Um, traveling for a very uh, uh, sad, uh, reason, and and it, it was it was just going to be a very intense um, situation, and I, a few of you had mentioned um, kind of stones for traveling and things like that, and I really wanted to make that video, but in the video, uh, I, I doubt you have seen it, but if you did catch it last night, then it's uh, this would be just repeating myself. Um, but I, you know, I just sort of talk about the different stones that I like to use for support in that way. And it's, uh, for me, uh, one of my favorite stones um, to specifically to fly with if I'm flying is rose quartz and specifically this rose quartz. Um, and, uh, I have uh, mantras and affirmations that I say and things like that. But um, since since um, traveling, I just have been digging my rose quartz again. And for this new moon, I'm really called to two stones. My uh, uh, smoky quartz, so really dark smoky quartz, and and this clear quartz. I feel like they're really fun to use together. I use them together in a few videos. What I can remember is the yin and yang video. So that's, uh, <laughs> those are the two I've been drawn to. How about you? What have you been drawn to? Yes, I'm a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. I'm a Scorpio. So let's, uh, let's go on ahead and set our intention here. So at this point, if you wanted to light your camera, it would be a beautiful connection here, connecting through time and space. So on behalf of all of your wisest, highest, most empowered and aligned selves, in loving comfort and perfect balance, I wish to send supportive energy 
to each and every one of you. As you reflect and plant seeds for your future self. Your future self. And so now if you wanted to set your own intention here using this candle, I now leave this open for you to set your own intention and really as long as it's you know in service of everyone's wisest selves, I will honor that intention. And my they Marie said that she saw my video and said her favorite part was the making of the, of the, the burrito of love for the tools <laughs> for my video from this room. This is it. All right. So here we go. I just hope this is a very supportive, supportive little video. Technically a little wonky, but hopefully supportive. That's what we're here for. Thank you again for the super chats. I want to say again that any of the super chats from this video go into our second uh, singing bowl so that we can continue to create some bass here for the collective. So that's uh, that's that's the plan. So thank you for everyone who is, who is very generously donated. It's incredibly kind. Thank you so much, love. So yeah, how are we all feeling? I'm gonna use this uh, clear quartz to draw the symbols in. I'm gonna make a new spray tonight. No. So All right, so now I'd like to really support anything that you want to manifest. If you want to call anything, if you want to write something in the chat, uh, if you're watching this after the fact, this energy is really available to us uh, day before, day, and day after the moon. So it can be pretty strong now that it can, it's, it's present. So if you're watching this after the fact and you'd still like to leave a comment, we can sort of send some healing energy and some support into those as well. So hopefully now you have, we've raised our vibrations. And if you wanted to share anything that you're feeling grateful for in the past lunar cycle, in the past month, is there anything that you've felt really grateful for I know there's a lot that you're struggling with, and I also know that there's so much to be grateful for, even in the most challenging of times. It's, it's a, it can be a really powerful practice. 
not to ignore suffering or struggling, but just to tap into gratitude as well. No, 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 do that, which is very powerful and beautiful. So at this time, if you wanted to, thank you so much, Tim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. It's incredibly generous, Tim. Thank you. So... Thank you all for being here. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. It's such a beautiful thing to connect in with you. Grateful for a new home. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. Lots of um, lots of energy moving towards, I feel like, a lot of, um, I was talking to someone recently just about receiving a lot of new information. It's a great time to be doing some beautiful kind of crown chakra meditations, inviting glimmering light in through the very crown of your head. Just seeing if there's any information, if there's any epiphanies that could, you know, this is, I feel like, a time that's really, really right for the epiphanies. Um, should I clear raw quartz before using? I clear all of my stones, um, whether I've found them or whether I've purchase them or receive them as a gift, I clear all of them and kind of have like a stone quarantine. <laughs> I don't need to make my quarantine, but I, but I put them aside um, to maybe on them for a little bit. And then I usually start working with them after the energy of the, you know, the full moon to get a clearing charge or something like that. So I would say uh, clearing any stones beforehand can be really useful. Um, raw quartz, especially something that's raw and especially uh, something like that's programmable, like a clear quartz. Uh, something that is, um, you know, um, distracted, uh, uh, something like that, that kind of collects the energy, like, um, like, Kyanite or, or um, terminines or something like that, especially the all stones, I would say. Mm -hmm. So I feel really grateful for all of you. I feel really grateful for spring and summer. I feel really grateful for having a little tiny space where I can garden just been gardening on my windowsills and just planted things out and I feel so grateful uh, to just sink my hands in some dirt. And, you know. <laughs> I'm grateful for my loved ones and my Georgie and my Gigi. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Friends. There's a lot to be grateful for. Just sharing, some are sharing that you are grateful for uh, ASMR and how much that's helped. I, yes, I completely agree. I, I really love ASMR. I mean, I think 
I've been such a fan of ASMR for so long and feel really connected to this collective, this community of, of, of you all and also just um, ASMR in general. I think it's a really a beautiful thing. I, lo- I really love it. Just, it's a nice way of kind of using the communication through the air. Um, in a really beautiful connected way, I think. So, <laughs> cool. All right. So, hopefully, uh, we're like kind of starting to feel a little bit, hopefully, relaxed. Hopefully, we've got some high vibrations happening. And now if there's anything that we wanted to sort of share collectively and then kind of help amplify each other's manifestations um, with things like, you know, if you wanted to write them, write them down in your journal, share them, um, even just saying them out loud can be really helpful. Some of the things that you want to manifest and call in to get you from here to where you want to be, the little steps you want to take and how it would feel to arrive there what it would feel like to arrive there. Um, so that, you know, like we said, generally in this our communication, so we can really help each other immensely with our words at this, um, at this time. Trying to kind of align, because Mercury uh, retrograde is, it really affects our ability to uh, express ourselves effectively. <laughs> so really taking some time to align before, you know, putting in ink to paper or, or typing. Because again, it can really affect how our words are received. So if there's anything that you wanted to put out there, I'm going to write a little bit. Um, so <laughs> if you wanted to write with me, whether that's uh, here or in your little books or uh, whatever you then All right, yeah. Manifesting a new home. Beautiful. Okay. Lots of manifesting a new home. Let's let's send that energy here. Here's to parad- paradoxical debacle. Getting a new home into Amanda. Getting a new home as well. Beautiful. What that what's that gonna feel like when you see your new home for the first time? It's, what's it going to feel like when you, when you, you know, pull up outside of your new home or you arrive, you open that door for the first time? What will that feel like for two of you? And for Evelyn too, a new home. Evelyn, the universe does have your back. Evelyn says she's struggling with her parents and but and going through a lot and says that she knows the universe has her back. And I'm so glad because the universe has you has your back. And we'll manifest anything for you as well. Support you as you're manifesting this, connecting with that energy. Mm. I'm sorry, you're in the family, it's so beautiful. Gorgeous. 
Hmm, lovely. Indeed. Wonderful, Doug. Okay, we'll support you in getting in your air conditioner and buffer. Oh, yes. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Pete says, I want to manifest in that same way as I made those. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a video soon on disassociation. It's funny to say that. It's been on my list for a while and I'm going to be working on it soon. Manifesting love. From my, my friend here, cool. Love it. Mm -hmm. Great, Christine, manifesting healthy. Manifesting growth at work, finding a sense of fulfillment. Man. Beautiful. Just sending healing energy here. Caitlin, for your father, who is going to manifest and support you. Scott, streamline workflow, beautiful. Lovely. Security for sharing. Mm hmm. Keep. We manifest health and love and peace for all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Manifesting clarity and joy. Manifesting, Jack manifesting that your boyfriend thrives at his new job and fits in on it. Oh, I'm so sorry about the surgery. Oh, that's lovely. What a beautiful, you're supporting someone who's helping people. So that's a really nice kind of pay it forward, beautiful thing, Jack. So supportive energy there.
beautiful. So is there anything, anything else that we would like to just kind of invite in here, send some supportive healing energy toward before we close, we're gonna be closing with that. All right, lovely singing bowl again. All right, Caitlin, your mother getting the job that she's applying for, beautiful. Lovely. So any other any anything else that we'd like to cover before we before we play our singing ball? <laughs> Pizza, I, would, I also wish the peoples of the world would unite as one consciousness of peace. We're working on it. Man, manifesting kindness and clarity in the chaos and storm. Okay, thank you all so, 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 so much for joining here. These live streams have really been such a, such a joy um, connecting with you all and being able to, you know, uh, be present with you while we're doing these things live is so lovely. And it, watching you all interact with each other, uh, yeah, I, I, I said it before, and I, you know, it just, it, it does give me a lot of faith. <laughs> It's in film. There's a lot of in this world. Uh, so thank you, and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everybody who's uh, uh, done a, a super chat and super stickers and things today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, again, those are all going to uh, a singing bowl for either the crown or the root chakra, I believe. We'll see which one's it that we can continue to uh, do some more sounds, sound baths and sound healing and things like that. So thank you and we will close with our singing bowl. I'm sending you all weeks of support and I hope you have a, a beautiful rest of your day and we're almost flat. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Full Spirit, for your contribution. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for being here. It really has been such a joy connecting with you. I'm oh, sorry about the audio again. And so, hopefully, we'll sort that out next time, and hopefully, um, once Mercury goes direct, the audio will be. So I'm sending you so much love and support. I hope you have a beautiful, like I said, rest of your day or night. And um, really get to you know, take care of yourself. And if you want to uh, go inward and, and sort of say no to things that you don't want to do, that's that's okay. You're supported in that. This is a this can be a great, very powerful time for reflection. A very powerful time for going deep inside and seeing what you want, not based on what you should or shouldn't be doing. What you, you know, any of that, but really going in and seeing what you want, and just know that the universe and the cosmos have your back. And so, and so, does everybody here? You know. We've all got each other's back. We've all got your back. So, all right. I'll see you again very, very soon. And I'm uploading now on Wednesdays and Sundays. Still tweaking and playing around with what time works best. But for now, it's been around 7.30 p.m. PST. I guess it's standard time. Uh, when I've been uploading. And that's... Uh, that's been working, so just to kind of stay um, abreast of the, the uploads and things like that, that's when I'm doing the uploads. So, so if you're, thank you so much, Internet. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's really generous. Thank you. So, Hi, everybody. It's <laughs> been people I didn't see before. Um, but um, the, um, oh, I'm so glad you like the manifestation box. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I, I love those things. I put so much um, love into them, and a lot of you have said that you were confused. It's a good vibe, so I'm so happy to hear that. Yay. Thank you. I'm really, really glad. I love making them, so I'm so I'm so glad that you like it. It takes me so long. But it's so much fun with it. Okay. All right. Well, I, I yeah, I can't remember where I was and what I was saying, but generally, uh, you're all wonderful, and thank you. And, um, rest when you need to rest. Take your time. And pause before you speak. Uh, and really call in what you want and focus on what you want your life to start to look like. And uh, here's the next one. Right. Talk to you again. See? <laughs>